Hello everyone. We're going to take just a couple moments here to tell you about a very fine product that I acquired from Amazon, uh, which is made by Motorola, and it is a wireless uh, extreme cable modem gateway, the SPG6850 device from Motorola, and it does both wireless internet, you can see it up here, and it does the hardwired as well, which is much faster than wireless. Uh, and it is DOCSIS 3, which is extremely important if you're a cable user, for example, with Comcast and some of the other companies nationwide. They're now using this new technology, which is basically a blended signal. They're going to combine four different signals into a single, like, ultra signal of Internet. Now, when you receive the device, the setup card gives you the address of the modem, which is uh, 192.168.100.1, and you just plug your laptop or your computer directly into the modem. This is the modem over here. You enter that address, and you come up with your configuration utility, which is part of, uh, it's based uh, in, in an Internet web browser, very simple and straightforward to use. You click across these tabs here to make the different settings, and the only setting I really had to do, was, which was from reading Amazon, was click on firewall, and then down near the bottom, untick or uncheck the box where it says IP flood detection. You want to uncheck that box, in other words, disable that. That's to prevent de uh, denial of service attacks from the internet from getting into your system. But the problem is it throttles your internet speed down to a crawl, according to some posts that other Amazon uh, reviews have mentioned on this product. So I just knew right from jump to turn that off. Next thing I did was got on the telephone and talked to Comcast, which is the provider that I have. And I read them the uh, model number, SPG6850. And then on the bottom of the box, these settings that you're going to need to give to your provider, which includes the MAC address of the device. Also uh, listed on there is um, uh, some other information that you will need for your wireless uh, connections, um, the passwords, and so forth. Now, this is the device itself, and you can see the light array going up and down across there. It's kind of a colorful little guy. Not too big, and it's fairly substantial. It does generate some heat, so you want to be sure it's well ventilated all the way around. You do not want to get it too close uh, or blocked up against walls because it will cause it to overheat. Uh, and your big question is, how fast does it go? That's the whole reason that you buy this thing, and the big, the big question that I had was, how fast does it go? And so to find that out, uh, I just went to speakeasy.net, uh, which is a testing uh, facility on the Internet. And you just run their speed test, which is down near the bottom of the screen here. And you click on a server that's close to you, and this little gas gauge will kind of crawl up there and show you how fast you're going. Right now I'm receiving 30.7 uh, download speed. You can see it here. It's kind of fuzzy, but it says 30.77. Uh, and now the upload is uh, in excess of 3 megabits per second. And so that's 3.83, almost 4 megabits per second. Divide those numbers by 8, and you'll get your megabytes per second. So we're getting about almost 4 megabytes per second download and about 1 megabyte per second upload. Those are extremely fast speeds approximately fast, 87% uh, faster than the rest of the nation, so uh, as, a, as an overall average. So it is uh, a very uh, good device. It was simple to set up. I spent about uh, 15 minutes total on the telephone. I had to make one setting that I showed you uh, in the software to uncheck that one setting in the firewall settings, and I uh, got these speeds right out of the box. So I would recommend this highly to anybody who's shopping there on Amazon. Hope this was helpful. Good night.